Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And in the last video, I showed you guys me installing the original dash up here so I can keep the options on it that I don't have on my other gauges. So there's my gauge set up. And it used to be an old sign. And then I got nut certs in all these that take 1024 screws. And uh, now we're getting ready to mount this back in there. Uh, before I did that, I also noticed in my last video, my buddy Dale noticed it. I don't know how many other guys noticed it, but my differential lock button was upside down. Somebody put that whole thing in upside down. So I fixed that. That was driving me nuts having that thing upside down like that. So uh, what I did was I took my wiring and wired into the six wires that I needed for fuel, temperature, tack, um, volts. And, uh, headlight switch or headlight or high beam light. We're not using the turn signals or the speedo because we're going to have GPS speedometer. I'll have them both. I can change that, but I won't have to mess with it. I'm going to leave this on tack and leave this on speedometer because I don't think the tack works in this one correctly. So, We'll go ahead and install this. This is going to be a, a bitch to put in there. Plus, I got to clean the inside of it a little bit. So, let me uh, clean the inside of that and we'll start putting this back together with these six screws right here that are a pain to get to. So, I took my dash out so I'd have some room to get in there and try to finagle them screws. That wasn't no fun. You probably seen me cuss a few times. <laughs> Alright, so now that's in there tight. I don't need to get in there for anything anymore. So now I get my wire. And my GPS. So then we'll plug this in screw in your GPS you don't want to forget that the only bad thing about these gauges is some of these have a button on the back why don't they put that button on the front? Who wants to pull their dash out to change a setting in your gauge? I wouldn't.
All right. She is in. I didn't forget to plug anything up, I don't think. We'll find out here in a minute. Nope. So now we got all three of them working. And it's saying scan UPS or search UPS or, or GPS. <laughs> UPS. Uh, so the volt is up there at 15 volts. Tank says it's just a little over a quarter, which is about right where it's at on that one. So we got lucky and everything matched up. The oil, I don't think these things have a oil port on them for a oil pressure gauge. I'd like to have that so it don't freaking flash like that all the time, but uh Something is uh, working Because the needle on the voltage is moving. I keep having to charge this battery up for some reason but um, Let's see the tack. Let's try the tack so the fuel level and The uh, Voltmeter's working. I don't know if the temp's working. I haven't had it hot enough to register. So let's start it up. So there is the dash installed so we didn't we're not missing anything off of this so we get to still use this I just won't use it very often I've got it set to uh, oh it resets okay so that tells you it's if you shut it off it, it'll stop wherever you're idling at huh, I ain't never seen one do that but this tack doesn't work correctly. It's not reading the same as that one. So they're not corresponding with each other. I would believe this one over this one. Because that one was designed for this. This is aftermarket. And it's probably a cheap tack. Or it's for four cylinder and up. If it is, it ain't never going to work right. You need it for a two cylinder. And I'm pretty sure it said two cylinder for boats. That's what this set up with four boats so so now i have two dashes in my truck or my well it is a truck uh, side by side and uh i don't know where i'm going to put my antenna yet right now i've got it down inside of here i know i ain't going to get no signal because i don't even have no signal in the garage but um I want to try to put it up there on the center facing upward on that visor. Problem is I got to drill through quarter inch steel and thread it to put a bolt in. Because uh, I want it on the outside of the windshield, not the inside of the windshield. I thought about putting it in the center, but I'd have to drill a hole in the inside of the cab and it could potentially leak and I don't want to add any reasons for it to leak uh, so there's our dash uh, talked to my buddy Dale and he said leave it just like it is so 
I think I'm going to leave it with the aluminum because this aluminum matches that aluminum. So, and it kind of helps with the uh, pedals too. So, incorporate a little bit of aluminum and a little bit of plastic and a little bit of electronics. <laughs> we'll get this thing right. Anyway, uh, I'm going to have to bring that idle down. Uh, and I'm going to try to think of a way to put, make a new adjuster screw for the, uh, the um, idle screw. And I'm going to make it so it's accessible out here at the dog box, which is going to require a lot of finesse. So, um, yeah, it's got to be changed because it, you can set it one time and it'll be different. Because I did set it when I was in here before. So I've got to set that. Anyway, hope you guys uh, got some good ideas on your yours. Yours may not be the same as mine, but it's all pretty much the same principle. Just working with what you got and uh, try to make things work. So... You guys have a good one. Later.